So it's been a minute since I uploaded to YouTube, but I've just been busy with my business and uh, managing all my sites and growing traffic and all that stuff and everything that goes along with it. And I just haven't really uh, had anything that I felt like sharing, I guess. And I'm not monetized uh, with this entire niche informer brand and I am motivated by money so I do not make any money from anything I share with this brand it's just kind of an outlet for me so with that being said I am trying something new and you can as you can see from the uh, title and description in the video here it is using Facebook as a traffic source driving uh, traffic from Facebook to your blog that is monetized with display ads. So you can see in this uh, overview here, uh, you're gonna need a few things like a website monetized with display ads, um, preferably high paying display ads. So you would wanna be probably with Mediavine or AdThrive is gonna be your best bet and then a uh, Facebook page or multiple Facebook pages. Now you can use an existing branded Facebook page. So if you're, uh, you know, whatever your blog's name is, you may already have a Facebook page that is directly tied to that blog and you can use that and just grow it the way it is. You may already have some likes and that's actually what I'm doing and it's working fine. But you could just create a totally separate uh, niche interest page and uh, that that's a, another way to go and that would work just as well. And that way, you know, the uh, Facebook page isn't tied to your uh, blog in any way except for the fact that you're constantly going to be sharing posts to your blog. So the idea is to, you're not going to share posts and then boost the posts. That, we don't want to do that. What we want to do is run ads that accumulate likes uh, on your Facebook pages. So you're going to be running brand awareness campaigns if you're familiar with Facebook ads at all. And uh, like I said, the goal is to get likes. So you want tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of likes. Because if you do that, then you own your audience and you can eventually stop running ads and now you own an audience that you can just share to over and over and over again. Uh, and on the subject of sharing, you're probably going to want to share about four to six times per day. And all of these shares are going to go directly to uh, your monetized blog. Now this is a very simple strategy at first glance, but there are some nuances and intricacies that uh, you're kind of just going to have to learn along the way, and i that's exactly what I'm doing. I got this strategy from a guy in the Fat Stacks blog community forum that I'm a member of, and he was kind enough to share his strategy, and this guy gets... I think he said millions of views every month and uh, almost, I believe he said like two thirds of his traffic comes from his Facebook pages. Now he's been doing this for years and um, I don't expect to get to his level anytime soon, but uh, if I can just supplement my organic traffic so that... Uh, you know what I'm doing with Facebook becomes profitable then I'll be more than happy and it's just another form of diversification now when it comes to the ad spend and how much I've spent uh, I'm I've got two pay two Facebook pages that I'm currently growing each one I've got an ad spend of twenty dollars a day so you know, that comes out to $40 a day total times 30. I'm looking at about $1,200 a month right now. And I went back into my analytics. Uh, here at the beginning of the month, I wasn't really doing anything. This is March 1 right here. So I'm getting a little bit of traffic coming in, but this is just from people organically sharing my stuff on Facebook this I must have had a post go viral here or something but right around here mid-March 
and you can see where it lifts up right here and becomes kind of steady. This is where I started sharing maybe three posts a day or something through Buffer. And I'll talk a little bit more about Buffer here in a minute. Uh, but I started sharing around three posts a day until I got to about here. And this is where I kind of, I guess, got serious and started sharing about five posts a day. Now you can see from about March 21st is where I started doing around five posts a day. And at the same time, I'm running uh, the Facebook ad campaign to increase my likes. And it's kind of just steadily going up here. Uh, so it, it appears to be working and then at the end you can see this gigantic spike that is where um, that was a Sunday where uh, I usually already have good traffic and I had learned a lot between here and here about what kinds of posts do well on Facebook and uh, things like that so here I made a point to share just posts that I thought were going to go viral and I mentioned that I was growing two pages I shared uh, posts from both pages directing to one site so I think on that one day I shared a total of maybe 12 posts on Facebook each one directing to uh, the one site here and you can see when I put in you know that extra effort I was almost at 2,000 users in one day just from social. Yeah, so page one, this is Facebook page one. It's currently at about 17,000 likes. And page two at about 8,500. So I had each of these pointing to the same blog. And uh, either page can link to, well, in most cases, either page can link to each other because they're, a very similar audience that likes both pages. Now a few of the downsides, uh, or really the main downside as I see it, is it can be quite time consuming to schedule all these posts because as I said if you're doing five a day, five times 30, you know you're looking at about 150 posts per month so if you're doing that on two pages, all of a sudden it's 300 posts per month. Uh, it can take a lot of time, but that's where the Buffer app comes in and it really helps a lot. It's kind of, um, it's a step up from the built-in Facebook scheduler and I like that. And another thing is uh, this can, this is the perfect task to be outsourced. So once, uh, once you, get your bearings on what works well and how to train someone then you can totally outsource this whole thing and as you can see we got 20,000 sessions in the last approximately six weeks but really only the last month is when I've been serious about it yeah so around $900 in the last six weeks but at current traffic levels I would say we're looking at close to thousand dollars a month going forward I would say that would be conservative and it's it's only gonna grow from there and I'm not gonna increase the ad spend and I'm eventually gonna stop the ad spend um, yeah and then you know even after I stop the ad spend my reach is gonna grow organically as people share my page and stuff like that now buffer is a it's kind of like Tailwind. If you're familiar with Tailwind for Pinterest, this is kind of the same thing, but uh, it's, it's, I'm using this to do the same thing uh, for Facebook. It just, it lets you schedule out your posts way in advance. Facebook does have the built-in scheduler, but um, this is just, I feel like this is a little better. So this is the last six weeks, about. Okay, so you can see as I had, uh, you know, as I started here, I wasn't sharing as much and I had much less reach because my audience was much smaller. But then as we get here, you can see I'm share. This is where I started sharing five times a day and my audience is also growing. And, you know, there's going to be your typical ups and downs as well.
So this is going to be the same date. So this is, uh, I guess, early March all the way to April. So uh, you can't tell as much from this, but I mean, you can see overall growth and you can see where, you know, a certain share will go viral. And this is where you, you learn from these, you know, you, you learn that this one goes viral and then you're going to you know, put, a, put an asterisk next to this one and then you can share it again in six weeks or something and, you know, you'll likely do well with it again and most people aren't going to remember that you already shared it and if they do, oh well. It is what it is. You can share these posts multiple times. So if you have a site with 500 posts, you once you have shared all of them, you're, you, you can just start sharing them again. You can share these over and over again. Not too close together, but, you know, maybe you can share the same post every six weeks or every few months or something. And that's just a choice you got to make for yourself. Yeah, so I just wanted to share what I'm doing with Facebook. My main traffic source is still organic, and that is my uh, primary traffic source. That is still my focus. It's always going to be my focus. But, you know, let's say that your percentage of traffic from Facebook is three or five percent. Wouldn't it be nice if you could increase that to 15 percent and diversify a little bit? That's really what I'm trying to do here is just diversify a little bit away from my complete dependence on Google. And in the meantime, it will, you know, it, at the same time, it will also increase my overall traffic. Uh, the main downside with this is the time suck. So I'm eventually, I'm eventually going to have to outsource this or get much, much faster at it. So we'll just see how that goes. Uh, it right now it, to schedule all these posts, it takes, takes me several hours to do. Uh, I feel like it takes about three hours to do a week and you know, that's probably really slow, but it just, it is what it is right now, but if I'm, you know, if it's taking me about 10 to 12 hours a month to make a thousand dollars a month, that's, that's essentially a thousand dollars a day, a thousand dollars for a work day. That's not bad if you look at it that way, but I think I can get faster. And the main thing is once my audience is bigger then the income the revenue will increase exponentially. If I can take this 17,000 likes to 50 and the 8,500 to 30 or even, you know, 100,000 uh, for both of them, then, you know, you can do the math there. Okay, that's it for today. Uh, I just wanted to share this. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.